Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're going to take it back from those old viewers who've been on the channel for a long time. And you recall before I really got into collecting arcade games, I was a overclocker. And um, a few years ago, I was sent a 3090, tested it out, put it through its paces, was top 10 in the world with scores. Well, it looks like the company's back at it again. I got a brand new GeForce RTX 3090 Ti. They won't test it, so what can I do? We can't turn them down, no, we can't do that. So today we're just gonna open it up, take a look at it, get a little bit of measurements on it, perhaps, and then after that, um, we'll post some scores, overclock.net, you know how we do it. Let's get started. Here. People already complained to get a video card. Put these in SLI, people be crying on the forums. So we got that. Okay, so here we have the new
We have the new connector. Okay. All eight pins, right? So I think they, uh, from the specs they sent me the spec sheet, they recommend you have at least a minimum 850. Um, for testing, I always use a um, 1600 watt power supply, so I always use that for testing. So I never have to worry about um, any kind of loads, any kind of spikes or anything like that. So power supply is very beefy. So. That's never a concern for me, but um, if you don't have one, you probably wouldn't want to upgrade your power supply, obviously. But then again, most people who are getting the TI are heavy overclockers, or you're doing some um, content creation and such, right? Okay. Let's see what else we got in here. So you also have a weight distribution, um, let's just call it a lead, um, hang, so that you are not straining the components as far as um, your motherboard and the GPU weight, because it does weigh quite a bit. Insulation guide, if you don't know how to install a, a video card by now. And then you get your little badges and such. There you go. Okay, so let's get all this out of the way. And let's get some quick measurements. There you go. There's your left of it. And let's, let's see what we got right here. There you go. So you're looking at a three slot cooler. So if you're planning on getting one of these, plan ahead, three slot. It is heavier and it is thicker than your standard 3090. So we will get this installed and just do some very quick baseline 3D Mark score test. We won't even overclock it. We'll just put it in, baseline test it, and see what we get. And then we'll set up the second video for some more in-depth overclocking some world scores, you know how we do here. Back in a bit. Just to give you some perspective of just how much bigger the 3090 Ti is compared to a regular 3090. Just looking at the box here. Might not be able to see it from this angle. But if we just set this down for a second. They say go large or go home. They were serious. Let's get started.
All right, just some final shots of the comparison of the RTX 3090 and the RTX 3090 Ti. So just final comparison just to show you how much they increased the cooling there on it. And of course, for all those who know, you know they moved those memory components there are no longer at the bottom of your base 3090. They're now at the top of your 3090 Ti. So for those who are getting water blocks or anything else like that, plan accordingly. And for those who are doing any kind of shunt mods or anything else like that, you already know what you gotta do. So there you go. The left is really the same. They did not increase the length of the cards, just the actual width itself. And of course they got rid of that <laughs> clown face that everybody hated. So there you go. Just a little bit of comparison of the um, 3090 base and the 3090 TI. So we'll get it going, get some scores up there. You know how we do. For everybody um, new to the channel, thanks for showing up. And always remember to please like and subscribe. Peace.